Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. I just want to take a look at the week ahead. Uh, I'm going to take you all the way into the first day of October and just kind of see what is lying ahead, what the storm track looks like. But before we get there, just a quick roundup. Here in Colorado, we got snow. This is crested butte, beautiful transition period in this time of the year. We have fall color, you get new snow high up, you kind of get that snow cone effect. I mean, it's, it's really, really pretty. Um, didn't quite get as much snow as I was thinking we would, but still got, uh, got some nice accumulation up on the high peaks here in Colorado. Another shot here from the maroon bells. You can really see it. This photo from Jeremy Swanson up there. The bells are covered, snow mass, capital, all the, uh, the peaks and the elks, but then you've got the fall color um, down lower. Very high rain snow line with this storm. It was at about 10,000 feet. It actually started even higher and dropped to 10,000 during the course of the uh, the storm system. Uh, but nice stuff. Uh, this was our first real snow of the season so far. All right, here's what I'm thinking as far as this week ahead. Um, the storm track is shifting. It's going to go to the north and it's really going to favor British Columbia, Canada, and parts of the Pacific Northwest and the nor extreme northern tier of states. So I'll show you what that looks like coming up, but we're going to be looking at very high snow levels in BC. There's going to be a fair amount of precip and I'll show you my snow forecast, but it's a very high elevation snow up there in parts of BC with this. So even like down lower, it's going to be rain. You really are going to have to go high up. Okay, so let me um, let me just show you what this is going to look like as far as the jet stream forecast goes. So uh, there's the jet by tomorrow. Notice it's really favoring Canada, the storm track. Everything's being pushed up into uh, the northern tier and into Canada. As we roll into Tuesday, it's the same thing. Big area of high pressure starts to establish itself across the Intermountain West. Um, and there we go by 925, very late in the day. So again, you can see the jet. All of the action is going to be running up into here, and that really favors the Pacific Northwest, BC, and Canada. All right, here's 926, uh, rolling into 927, and 928. It's the same thing. The jet is favoring Canada. Everything's bottled up there. That's where most of the precipitation is going to be. Um, now, by 930, there's a little bit of a dip in the jet over parts of Montana and Wyoming. I'll have to see what that looks like. Could have an area of low pressure, a quick kind of clipper dropping down through the northern tier. And then finally, by the time, here's October 1st, everything's running up into Canada, BC, and then kind of down and across uh, the heartland of the country. All right, here's the forecast uh, radar and satellite. So by the time we uh, roll into uh, tonight, here we are, and, and notice the leftover um, precip here in Colorado is drying up very fast. Again, the emphasis is going to be up in the Pacific Northwest. There's Monday at 5 a.m. At 5 p.m., there's Tuesday in the morning, Tuesday afternoon. Look at all of this, uh, the dry air over the Intermountain West. A lot of sunny skies, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado. Here we are on 925 in the morning. Look where all the precip is going. Some of it does clip the Pacific Northwest. But most of it is going up into BC and then kind of hooking around. Um, so here is a Thursday morning. There's Thursday afternoon. Another storm system affecting the same areas. Look at the blue, some blue showing, showing up, but that's really high elevation snowfall above 10,000 feet. Here we are at 5:30. Uh, there's Saturday, Saturday afternoon. There's Sunday, another storm system hitting many of the same areas up in BC. And then there's Monday, there's Monday night, here's Tuesday, and then there, that's the 1st of October. Let me just show you what uh, my snow forecast is. And this runs us all the way through the 1st of October. And notice where most of the accumulation is. You can see the color contours. They're all up in parts of BC, interior BC, and running down over Banff. But that's all high elevation stuff. At the lower, if you're not above 9,500, 10,000 feet, it's likely it's all going to be rain. But you can see at the very highest of elevations, there is going to be snow. That's why there's not a lot of uh, big numbers showing up at any of the popular ski areas up here because it's mainly going to be rain at those lower elevations. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon uh, update. Look at the week ahead. Thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.